Welcome to the No Guilt Fangirls Podcast, where liking what you like is never a bad thing. Here's your host and head fangirl in charge, Patty Holiday. Hey y'all, welcome to the No Guilt Fangirls Podcast. I'm Patty Holiday, your host and head fangirl in charge, and this is the Daily-ish Fangirl for July 21st, 2019. And I did have to look at the clock to see what time it was because it's been a crazy day and it totally got away from me, but it is. It's it's July 21st now. So when you hear this, welcome to a new day. And do you know what new day this is? This is the day that we finally have all the details about Marvel's Phase 4. And if you're like, who cares? Well, that's cool. I get it. I get it. Not everybody cares. But I care. I care a lot so much that I'm staying up past midnight to put out an episode about how excited I am about all of this. All right. So just as a quick reminder, uh, regular shows, they're going to be on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, every now and then I pop in like this when I've got something that I'm really excited about to talk about because that is, I don't know, the art of the fangirl is you get to talk about the things that you are excited about and nothing excites me more than new Marvel movie news. And this is all coming straight from the San Diego Comic-Con, which I've never been uh, someday some way I will find a way to get out there, but it kind of, it's kind of intimidating. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. I, I, I follow every year on Twitter and every year I just sit there and shake my head like, wow, these folks are nuts. Now, and, and guys, I like crowds. I like crazy. I like cons. I love conventions. D23 Expo is like my most favorite Disney fangirling event ever. Um, but there's something about San Diego. So, you know, one of these days I will I will muster up the courage to go, but it looks like a blast. It looks like a blast. And tonight in the room, uh, which is Hall H, they made a ton of announcements, stuff that we have been waiting to hear about for forever as Marvel fans. And finally, the big payoff uh, showed up. Speaking of big payoffs, guess what happened, guys? Guess what happened? <sighs> Avatar went down. I know, I know, not any, but not everybody cares, but I cared. <laughs> if you've been listening to any of the Monday Movie Minutes, then you know how much I cared. I think I talked about this over and over again, and I can finally, guys, we can finally not talk about it anymore, because it happened, it happened. They announced right before this panel started, and then they announced at the panel, by the numbers, by the end of this weekend, when everything gets all completely tallied up, Avengers Endgame is officially the highest money-making movie of all time. And bye, Avatar. Bye. I ain't sad about it. Will Avatar 2 bump it out? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. And I'll deal with that if it should happen. Maybe it's a better movie. Maybe I'll like that one more. I don't know. But for now, tonight is a big Marvel celebration night. And I am thrilled because I love this movie. I just loved it so much. Uh... All right, means nothing except for, you know, the people that make the money and get to spend that money. I don't, <laughs> but I'm still super proud that it happened and, you know, that my five showings in the theater might have helped cross it over that line. <laughs> so, on to San Diego Comic-Con. What we are going to talk about tonight is the big phase four news. There, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of it. They, they came out on stage and apparently, you know, everybody went, went crazy. I saw a little bit of video uh, early on. Folks did end up putting their phones mostly away, or at least I didn't see a lot of video come out after that because it looked like they did show uh, a few clips here and there, which they specifically said, please, you know, don't videotape that part. But I did see some video of uh, some of the actors coming out on stage and um, the crowd just going absolutely crazy like there is nothing like being in that kind of a crowd when you are with your people and you're all getting such amazing news and cool information ugh, it's just the best feeling in the world which is you know I was trying to explain it to my my son earlier today and he just looked at me like I was nuts I was like it's a total rush <laughs> he was like okay mom um but hey I'm a fangirl what can I say so Kevin Feige comes out on stage and uh, he he basically starts it off and he puts this big list up and he shows 10 spots 
that need to be filled, 10 announcements that, that needed to be dropped as far as phase four was concerned. Uh, the first thing they talked about was the Eternals. This is really no big surprise to anybody that's been kind of following along. But they finally did uh, come out and uh, announce the cast and um, and uh, put that information out. We are going to see the Eternals coming to theaters on November 6, 2020. And uh, honestly, I don't know anything about the Eternals yet. But that's okay. I, I, I have never proclaimed to know everything about everything in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, this just gives me something to kind of study up on, learn about, and we'll go from there. Now, I said that there were 10 items that needed to be announced. Well, they, they kind of, they're, they're lumping the Disney Plus series in there as well. So this is officially part of phase four, though, is all this Disney Plus series, which is, it's kind of cool. It's kind of exciting to see that too. We have the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which is going to be a Disney Plus show. And that is coming out uh, fall of 2020. And again, that's going to be Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan. They actually came out on stage to greet the fans. Uh, so that's that was that's probably was a really cool moment uh, for everybody that was there. Now, the next one that they announced was Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. And uh, he spoke about, uh, Feige, Feige again spoke about this a little bit, um, detailed how the legend had been hinted at in the MCU film since the first Iron Man. And then they actually confirmed uh, the cast of Simi Liu in the title role. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, because um, I wasn't in the room, so I didn't get to hear them pronounce it. But that's, you know, it's really exciting to see this. I also kind of lost my ish just a little bit because my girl Aquafina, Aquafina is in the MCU. I, I, I got to talk a little bit more about Aquafina one of these days about why I just love her so much. And if you're not familiar with her, please get familiar with her because she's, you know, she's taking over everything. She's showing up in everything. And uh, yeah, Aquafina's in the MCU. That 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 I think made my night. That was really exciting. Um, next up, they have WandaVision, and WandaVision is going to be another Disney Plus original series. Um, we're going to have Vision. We're going to have Wanda, uh, Scarlet Witch uh, come out, and uh, you know they said it's weird. They said it's going to be interesting. So I don't know. Well, not a not a ton of details were given on on what exactly is going on there. Then it was probably the highlight for a lot of people. Okay, maybe just me, because <laughs> I am loving all of the pictures of Tom Hiddleston that people are sharing on Twitter. But they announced Loki is officially coming again to Disney Plus, and this is going to be the spring of 2021. Tom Hiddleston is back. And they said that this is actually taken up. Basically, it's going to be answering that question from Avengers Endgame. Where did Loki go when he took the Space Stone? Guess we get to find out. Which is immediately when I saw that happening in the theater, I knew that had to be that had to be the tie-in. That had to be how that was going to work. And it got me so excited because the possibilities were endless. Hey, Loki lives in any way, shape, or form. I will take it. I'm thrilled with that. All right. Uh, the next big movie, though, that we're going to get is going to be Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. What a title, right? I don't know. I, 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 I dig. I dig on uh, Doctor Strange. I thought it was weirdly, wildly cool and fantastical and mystical. And I, I really liked it. I really liked it. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stoked about this next one. Now, it does sound like they're going to make this one a little bit um, a little bit darker. And they actually also said that um, Elizabeth Olsen, who, who is, um, who's, who's Wanda, who is Scarlet Witch, uh, she's going to be in this. And they're going to tie WandaVision um, directly uh, to the feature film storyline of Doctor Strange. Interesting, right? So that was that, that. That was kind of a cool, cool little news to drop out there. Um, up next after that, oh, and that movie is going to be May seventh, twenty twenty one. The next series that they announced uh, for the Disney Plus streaming service is called What If, 
And What If is going to be the first animated series in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, What If is being creative just for Disney+, and it features stories that present alternate realities in the Marvel Universe. What's cool about this is that Feige mentioned that many actors from the MCU will be voice talent in the series. Hey, maybe we get our DJ back. Maybe we get a little bit of uh, Chris Evans back. I, phew, guys, like, I, I love, I love this. I love all the possibilities. I love what if, what ifing all over the place. Dude, I'm down for this. I am so down for this. Oh, and, you know, to answer your question, gee, do I think Disney Plus is going to be worth it? Obviously, obviously. Totally take my money, Disney, because, well, you were going to anyway. <laughs> uh, the next one, and this one is actually the first one that when they announced it, I don't think I had heard anything absolutely official on it yet, so I was really excited to see this myself, and that is Hawkeye. They announced a Disney Plus series for Jeremy Renner, and uh, it's Hawkeye, and they are actually going to include Kate Bishop in this one, who's well-known in in the the Marvel comics, uh, and she's going to be a big part of the series, so... That's cool, right? This is Disney Plus again, and that's fall of 2021. And then they announced, this is the only one I kind of have a problem with, guys. I'll be I'll be honest with you, and, and I can't quite put my finger on it. I got to think about it more as to why exactly I have a problem with it, because it's Thor, and I love Thor. So as it was announced earlier last week, this week, I can't remember exactly when they when they said it, but Taika Waititi's back to direct uh, Thor 4. Cool. Thrilled to hear that. Happy to hear that. We knew that Chris Hemsworth was going to be back. Tessa Thompson was going to be back. And on stage tonight, they brought out Natalie Portman and she's going to be Thor. Yeah, you heard that right. Natalie Portman, aka Jane Foster, is Thor. Now, that's not the weird part. The weird part isn't that there's a girl that's Thor. There's There's been a woman, a female Thor that was in the comics. Again, I don't read comics, but this is what I understand. So that I'm not, I wasn't weirded out by that. It's just, it's Natalie Portman, y'all. I am not a fan. Sorry, Natalie, but you have not <laughs> beholden to me in any way, shape, or form. I know you're in Star Wars. I know you're in Marvel. You would think that I'd, I'd feel something with you, but I don't. And uh, I am... I am a little bit displeased. I also did see a video of when they handed her, uh, you know, her 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 hammer, and she just kind of held it like I don't know, man. If you're the first woman to be able to hold it, you pump that up in the air and you show that off, and you like she she just was just like yes, it's this is. It was like she was holding a purse, like this is my, this is my hammer, this is my. Uh, not impressed, not impressed. I need more from you need more. Uh, That was November 5th, 2021. So we'll see. Mm, Anyway. Uh, And then the last movie, which is actually going to be the first movie that we're going to get. We're going to have to wait until May 1st, 2020. But that is the day we'll be able to see Black Widow. Uh, Officially official. They announced the feature film Black Widow. um, And that's coming to theaters, like I said, May 1st. 2020. And this is going to be the first film uh, in phase four. They also gave the audience members a little bit of footage of it. Uh, We haven't seen it. I don't know if we're going to get a trailer soon. I don't know if that's what that means, but that'd be cool. I'd love to see what's happening there. A little teaser maybe. But Scarlett Johansson is back. And this is also supposed to take place, um, they said, after Civil War. And it is going to act take place it to some extent in Budapest. So we're going to get that story that, that they've alluded to before. So I love the MCU. I love that they do that, that they interweave everything and they don't forget, you know, the storylines that they kind of semi-teased or promised somewhere along the way. So ah, thrilled. All right. And then after that, that was it, right? That was the 10. We, we had our 10. Everybody's cool. But that's not how Marvel rolls. You know that's not how Marvel rolls. So Marvel then came up with one more big um, surprise. He went ahead and he did confirm to the crowd there will be more X-Men coming out. There will be more Fantastic Four coming out. There will be a Captain Marvel 2 and a Black Panther 2. And then he also announced that Blade is coming. And it stars Mahershala Ali. 
which is amazing and awesome. And this is this is going to be so cool. I mean, I I actually liked the Wesley Snipes version, but super excited to see this update with Mahershala. All right. No dates, no no, no major um no, no major information that we can like nail down right there just that we have a blade and Ali will be the star of Blade and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Now, if you need all those dates, if you want some more information on that, I have it all up on the blog. I will link it in the show notes. That's at noguiltfangirl.com if you want to go check it out. But yeah, we've got a phase four for Marvel. Oh, and did I mention that Avatar can suck it? <laughs> I don't think I said that. But yeah, Avatar, you're number two, baby. Number two. All right, guys, that is it. That's it. That, that's all I've got for the Daily Fangirl tonight. I, I it's, been a, it's been a big night, big night for me, a big night in my household. I know you're like, why do you care so much? I don't know. I just care. I really, I really love Marvel. That's when, when you're a fangirl, man, you just you, you, you fall hard for these things and they, they get your attention and they make you stay up all night thinking about it. And I will be staying up all night thinking about these movies and what direction this next phase is going to take us in. Ah, exciting. You can find me on Twitter at No Guilt Life if you've got something to say about this. If you disagree with me, maybe about Natalie Portman, I am willing to hear it. I am willing to, to take your, your information and I'll try to try to change my mind. It's cool. <laughs> all right. Uh, this is all I've got for the Daily Shane Girl. I will be back uh, when the next moment strikes or Monday when we'll talk about some Monday Movie Minute discussions. Uh, probably for that one, because the only other movie that I saw this week was The Lion King. I had plans to see another one, but they fell through. So, and I feel like I've Lion Kinged it to death. So we're probably not going to talk about that on Monday Movie Minute, but maybe we'll talk about some of these trailers that have dropped over all of Comic-Con, because there's been a lot of them. So it'll be a, we'll, we'll maybe make that just a, a big trailer Monday Movie Minute discussion, plus the box office where I get to again mention Avatar, I think. <laughs> Why not? It's my show. I can do whatever I want, right? <laughs> All right. No, for real. Uh, talk to you guys on Monday. Throw up those five stars. Don't forget to subscribe to the No Guilt Fangirls podcast because we're always talking about something different and I'd hate for you to miss something that you really wanted to hear about or you wanted to listen to. So come back and fangirl with me again real soon. <laughs>